Walker Evans and I've been involved in off-road racing since about 1969. And uh, when I retired from off-road racing, I was asked by Goodyear to do rock crawling. So hence, I'm out here amongst the rocks with a great Jeep doing a little bit of rock crawling. Well, in 1999, I announced that uh, in 2000, I was going to retire from off-road racing. I'd done it for almost 30 some years and won the Baja 1000 nine times and uh, have had a very successful, wonderful career at it. But I kind of got enough is enough. So I went to Randy and John Searle and a few of my top guys that worked for me. And I said, you know, we have an opportunity to build some shock absorbers. And uh, Polaris seems to be interested in our product. And, we can manufacture some wheels and all the technology that we've learned throughout off-roading we could maybe put into a manufacturing business if you guys are willing to go along and give it a shot with us and they all agreed and so here we are today a hundred employees a couple hundred thousand shocks a year and uh, life's good Randy's my partner he runs half the whole business and owns half of it and everything is really rolling right along, uh, picture perfect, so to speak. Everything we've done is basically, you know, we come from a racing background, that's all I've ever known, and it's all performance enhanced, performance minded, uh, make it simpler for the customer to work on. And, you know, coming from the race car background, it was easier to manufacture something knowing that we knew what the customer wanted instead of making something and having the customer say, I think I can make this work, but well, we knew what he really wanted, so it made it easy to sell. The thing that crosses over the most is a lot of people don't understand is we run this like a race team in the fact that when we were racing and we had big sponsors, the reason we got sponsored is because our stuff always looked good, it went fast, and we were always there when we were supposed to be. We use the same principles here. We have to make something that looks good. It's got to work good, and we can't be late to the assembly line. So it's the same basic principles as we did in racing. We just kind of transferred it over here. Is it hard? Yeah. Is it harder in racing? Yeah. Is it another challenge? Yes, it is. We've been fairly successful in it so far, so it's, it's been good. We still race what we sell. And uh, we run a lot of stuff in the work series uh, where my son RJ runs. And everybody thinks he's got special stuff, you know? And it's like, no, here's his package and, and we'll sell it to the competitor. We'll sell it to the guy who runs second place. And he's won a lot of races and, and he's done really good for us in, in racing in the UTV class, whether it be in the work series, which is a, like an outdoor national to the Lucas Series, which is a short course race, or we got cars running in Best of the Desert, and we, you know, we won the races in in Parker last weekend on both days on our shocks. So it's stuff we got stuff all over the place as far as UTV goes. Snowmobiles, we got the the best hill climb guy in the country on our stuff, and runs in Jackson Hole and and the hill climb circuit. We got snowcross guys that run all over the place in the Midwest. Uh, Canadian guys on snowmobiles running stuff and so we got the some of the top riders in the nation on all of our product in all classes and different forms of racing. I love every one of the guys that go up through these hills with my wheels just crashing through them and they're all surviving. And they, they almost cry when they scratch them, but that's what they're for, you know. 
We like to say our company is about producing the best parts. I mean, we don't want to take second place to anybody as far as the products that we build. We are constantly on the leading edge for out testing, with whether it be for Polaris, whether it be with Jeeps, whether it be for rock crawling, and on short course racing, we're constantly testing and coming up with new things that make the ride a lot better. Uh, if, if you can land off these jumps, you know, car just sits in perfect, there's not a big blur and stuff, then you can go fast. But if you don't have the right products under you, you can't go fast. And that's our motto. We want to have the best products put out there in the front for racing. And uh, believe me, they'll sell themselves if they've done a great job in the racetrack.